Now, here's something you may not know about Robert Fuller. He was once a singer and a dancer. I don't know if he'll give us a little G here today, but uh, he was once a singer and a giant dancer. And we cannot forget, we cannot forget the TV program, Emergency. Right Dr. Kelly Brackett. And I'm not feeling too well, Kelly. Talk a little bit more about uh, Larry and uh, well, you know, you know, you, you, you brought the big thing up here. You're going to get me in trouble about this dancing deal. <laughs> but anyway, I appreciate that. That's kind of fun. That is part of my career that a lot of people don't realize. Of course, a lot of my fans and friends that uh, know me forever here know that I was a tap dancer. <laughs> But anyway, yes, I did. Uh, I danced with Marilyn Monroe in uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I was one of the uh, chorus dancers in it. I danced with uh, Debbie Reynolds and Donald O'Connor in a movie called I Love Melvin. I danced uh, with Lana Turner and Ricardo Montalban in a movie called Latin Lovers. Uh, I danced in a lot of musicals. Only because when I moved from Florida to California, and got into the extra business, my parents were dancers. And they, early on, had taught me to dance a little bit. So I had a little bit of rhythm. Not a lot, but a little. <laughs> and enough to uh, get me into some of those jobs. So instead of making $12 a day as an extra, I was making 125 bucks a week as a chorus dancer at, at MGM. You were under contract at MGM at the same time that I was there in the 50s. And uh, it, was, it was kind of fun, it really was. Uh, I got drafted s shortly after that and, and, and went away. That, that's my acting career came way be after, after that. But that's kind of fun, yeah, I did that. When I, when I was at MGM, I, I made seven pictures in that year that I was there, and I had about 12 lines all together. <laughs> they figured I couldn't dance at all, stay up on the horse and carry the spear. <laughs> But you all, you know, we got a good crowd out here that might understand this and realize that when Jim and I were working at MGM in, in the late 50s, middle 50s to late 50s, when you and I went to lunch in the commissary, who did we see? Everybody. No, oh, I mean, maybe a couple. Oh, well, Clark Gable and Lana Turner and Betty Grable and Linda and Yvonne Nicole, Spencer Tracy, we, we would sit as close as we are to you, to some of the biggest stars in the world at, at uh, MGM Studios. It was quite a thrill for us as young, young actors, young, young aspiring actors to come up. Absolutely. And we were as much, of, if you guys are fans of the Virginian and the Valerie and Emergency, boy, were we fans of those people. And we just couldn't, uh, couldn't imagine, could already eat lunch looking at these people that we revere, we had so much respect for, because they could do such great things on film. So, uh, we have a kind of an apostolic succession in the acting profession. Everybody stands on the shoulders of everybody that went before them. And uh, I certainly stand on those shoulders, and so does Bob. And I, I imagine that there are people standing on ours now. So. That's, uh, that's how it works, that's how it works. People watch other people do something and it's believable, it's worthwhile, you, you believe every word of it, and then you try to emulate that, try to make your, when you act, try to create the illusion of reality, which is what the definition of acting is. We try to fool you all the time into believing that you're seeing what you're seeing. And if we're successful, you don't blink. That's the secret. I'm going to, uh, before you uh, ask another thing over there, I'm going to jump in with something that I think the folks might like to hear. Uh, <clears throat> I think most of you are pretty Western-oriented, and have watched Westerns, if uh, some of you are of that age. Uh, in 1959, 60, 61, there were 32 Westerns in prime time when Jim and I were doing Westerns together. Jim did the Virginia at Universal Studios, I was doing Laramie and Wagon Train at the same time. And it's kind of fun to know that we had, what, about nine Westerns at the same time at one studio. And kind of interesting, uh, when you break for lunch in those days and walk to the commissary, all you saw were cowboys and Indians. 
Right? right? Join the concert. Uh, unbelievable. Doesn't happen today anymore, unfortunately. But there were really, really fun days. Uh, Warner Brothers had seven, eight, or nine rushers going. Men GM had ten. You know, this and that. So it, it, it was a. We knew everybody. We knew every cowboy and every other show. And uh, we, we all worked together. And we all worked together one time or another.